welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there Astro Ventures, welcome back. Uh, this astrophotography targets video for the month of April is coming out to you a little bit early and the reason being is that uh, the new moon comes in on April 8th and so we're going to get started you know right off the bat and depending on your you know time to be able to get away and get out and do some imaging that whole first week, uh, starting on April 1st, you're able to squeeze out for yourself about three hours and then uh, continue on through the night. And so I wanted to get this out to you early so you can get started with your astrophotography. So here we go, let's get started. Um, so on uh, Stellarium here, brought up my constellations, bringing up my deep sky objects. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the atmosphere there. And let's jump over now. Just our time. Let's move forward to the 8th. Let's see here. And I'm going to move forward to 2130. That's a decent bit past dark for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and pause this here and let's get started so uh first target that we're going to we're going to uh head over to the silver needle galaxy and for this one here this is going to be ngc 4244 okay here we go let's zoom in on this okay so this is the silver needle galaxy and uh, just so you can see what that takes a look at, or what that looks like here. The full moon is 31 arc minutes, or let's just call it 30. 30 arc minutes across. It varies in size a little bit, but uh, 30 arc minutes across. Now, taking a look at the Silver Needle Galaxy, uh, let's see here, NGC 4244, bringing that up. And uh, working off of a 150 to 600 millimeter lens out at 600 millimeters using a crop sensor camera. Uh, here you go. This is what it would look like. And then for size, it's going to be 16 arc minutes across by 6.3. And so with this, keeping in mind, the full moon is about 30 arc minutes. So you're talking about lengthwise, it's going to be about half of the distance across what the moon is. However, it is a very thin one at uh, 6.3 arc minutes in width. So this is long and narrow. Uh, this one here, uh, you know, not a, a common one. I don't know of anybody that, uh, you know, in my circles that has uh, imaged this one. So that's the Silver Needle Galaxy. Next one, let's jump over to M106. And M106, here we go. I could not find a name for M106. It's a spiral galaxy. This particular one, it's got some good size to it of uh, 18 arc minutes across. So again, a little over half of a full moon by uh, 6.9 uh, arc minutes. So we'll call it seven. So it's got some decent size to it. Uh, however, you know, a little bit, you know, more on that fainter side of magnitude. And then let's jump over to Stellarium. So let's back out. Let you reorient where you were. Okay. And let's jump over here. And so this was M106. And here we go. You can see the Big Dipper up here. Okay. Here we go. M106. So there you go. Again, uh, none of these targets that I'm covering today require any kind of an Astro Mod camera, so uh, pretty versatile there. So there you go. Next one, let's move on to another uh, needle for the night, 
and this particular needle is going to be the Needle Galaxy and that's going to be NGC 4565 there we go. and this is also a pretty decent sized target you're looking at 14 arc minutes across but very narrow at 2.2 arc minutes and you can see it here so it's going to be a nice little sliver there and that's the Needle Galaxy and then let's jump over to Stellarium here whoops wrong thing let's see here and over on Stellarium NGC 4565 okay here we go you see where it's at backing out so you can kind of orient now you can see here this is going to be okay here's 40 degrees and this is where I'm you know where I'm located in the US and Polaris is at 41 and so myself I try to stay to targets that are above or on par with uh, being up in the night sky with Polaris for where I'm located so this one here works well let's zoom back in bring this down and there you go as I said another long thin one and then right next door you also have this bonus little pickup NGC 4562 which is another small galaxy that's there okay moving on let's jump back over to telescopius and we're going to head over to the koi fish galaxy that's going to be ngc 4559 and this is also known as the koi fish galaxy size wise we're looking at uh 10 arc minutes by 4.4 so you're looking at one third, you know, the width of a full moon. And then let's jump back over to Stellarium and you can see it right here. Okay, there was the Needle Galaxy we were looking at and here is the Koi Fish Galaxy. So there we go. Okay, excellent. Now let's move on to our next target for this month and uh, Let's do a little fishing here. So on this one, we're going to go for the Whale Galaxy. And this is going to be NGC 4631. And this one here, we've got some uh, bonuses in here. So let's see. So this is the Whale Galaxy. And then right next to it, you have the Pup Galaxy. So it's kind of like when you image Andromeda, you got some smaller ones next to it. So you got whale, and then you've got the pup over here. Now, the uh, whale galaxy, and we're going to jump over to Telescopius. And again, that was NGC 4631. Uh, on this one here, there's your framing of the whale galaxy. And then right next to it over here, we also have the crowbar galaxy, which we'll take a look at it in just a moment. But... As you can see, you can frame this up because you've got the whale, the pup, and then you have the crowbar and the, uh, let me think here, I want to say this was the uh, fish hook galaxy that's over here as well. So you get a total of four within this package. But uh, going again back to the whale galaxy, which is funny because it's also labeled as the herring galaxy, a uh, little bit of a size difference there in fish. But uh 13 arc minutes by two and a half arc minutes for the whale galaxy. So there you have that one. And while we're here, let's go ahead and punch in. Uh, let's see here the crowbar galaxy, which is going to be NGC 4656. Okay, and as you can see, it slid it over a little bit. There you go. And uh, size wise, on this one here, it's a nice long one at, uh, let's see here. Uh, no, this is not a nice long one. <laughs> I'm, I apologize, I misspoke there. So on this particular one, you're looking at uh, 1.5 arc minutes by 31 seconds. I don't think that's quite correct though. I am not sure. I will go ahead and I'll have to uh, do some updating on the screen here, which you may already see. But uh, that's definitely looking much bigger than uh, what this is giving me at 1.5 arc min minutes. So I'm sure that's not correct. 
but on the end of it you also have the uh, fishhook galaxy and let's jump over to Stellarium for a moment and here's where we have the fishhook galaxy or excuse me the crowbar and then here's the fish hook on the end but I'm definitely thinking that uh, arc minute scale size was not correct there but uh, either way depending on how you frame this up though you can get yourself the whale the pop the crowbar and the fish hook all in one frame which I showed you over there on uh, Telescopius. You can fit that all in there. So that would make a nice uh, nice target for the night. And then the uh, last one that I'm going to do for today is ABEL, A-B-E-L-L, -L, 1656. And this is going to be a really cool cluster. Now, let me slide this up. It's all in here. And again, this doesn't show it exactly real well. But uh, there's quite a bit going on in here, and I feel like to, uh, Stellarium actually shows it better. And so let's jump in here, and there we go, a bell 1656. Look at all of this packed in here. And this whole collective region here with all of these galaxies is actually 30 uh, arc minutes, so the diameter of the moon across with all these galaxies. But you look at all of this in here. It's just packed. So I'm definitely interested in this one and jumping in. There's lots of different, you know, galaxies and things to check out in here. Just uh, it kind of reminds me of Markarian's chain with uh, having so much stuff packed in it. But I think I'm definitely going to go for this one. And just to back out so you can see where it's at. Here we go. We're in the east. And uh, right now... You know, there's that 40 degree azimuth line that I try to shoot for. And so this is only going to get better as time goes on. But uh, again, I'm getting this one out to you early. And the reason being is because with the new moon falling on April 8th, you're looking at being able to start sh uh, start imaging, uh, you know, depending on when dark is for your particular area. But uh, looking at being able to start uh, imaging on April 1st, get a few hours uh, until you get to that, you know, full moon, excuse me, new moon on the 8th. And so each night the amount of uh, imaging time really grows quite a bit and quite quickly. So hopefully I happen to have that week off and my uh, intention is, is to utilize that, uh, that entire week. So there you have it. So until next time, uh, if you like what we're doing here, I would love to see you join us over at our Facebook group, Astro Venture DSLR. And uh, if you like the video and the content of what we're sharing here, consider liking, subscribing, ringing the bell, and uh, getting that out there. Until next time, Astro Venturers, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.